أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters We begin today with the dua اللهم إنا أسألك علما نافيا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا O Allah, I ask you for knowledge that is beneficial I ask you for provision that is good and pure, and I ask you for deeds that are accepted. So, as we continue here at the Debe Islamic Association, our tafsir will be on this Makkan Surah, chapter 103, Surah Al Asr, the chapter on time or afternoon. Today, being day 12 of our Ramadan reminders, means that we are still in the second part of the month, the days of forgiveness. So we shall now recite the dua for these days of forgiveness. Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli dhambi wa tubu ilayhi I ask forgiveness of my sins from Allah, who is my Lord, and I turn towards Him. Asr may be translated as time, time and age, the declining day, afternoon and other meanings and even though there may be some nuances or slight variations between each of these there is still the underlying view that this chapter portrays the image of a declining day suggesting the stage in the day or the declining life when only a short while is left for those wishing to make up for lost time. Some may see this when men's beards start to grey, they seem to have a magnetic attraction to the masjid. So, as we have a whole world of meaning compressed into less than 20 words in the second smallest chapter in Al-Quran. So Allah begins the surah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wal Asr. By time. So we can see where the surah takes its name from. Here, Allah takes a qasam or an oath by time, another of His creations. Time, which affects everything bringing with it the eventual death to all. While Allah himself is timeless, and the Arabic word that brings this attribute of Allah is actually the last word of this surah, Sabr. This is just another of the beautiful niceties that lay within the holy text. Allah goes on in the surah by saying, Inna l'insana la fi kusr. Indeed, mankind is surely in loss. Allah says, Inna, indeed. And He also says, La, surely. Both of these are stressors, like exclamation points in the English language. This means it's a double emphasis that man is really and truly off the path. Now remember, this is an early Makkan surah, so the message is now being spread. There are very few Muslims and many polytheists, many on the wrong path. So what does Allah provide man with to correct themselves? A messenger who was known as Bashiro wa Naziro, the bringer of glad tidings to encourage us to the truth and the bringer of warnings to discourage us from the faults. Allah completes the surah as follows. Illa <laughs> except those who amanu, those who believe and do righteous deeds 
and advised each other to truth and advised each other to patience. Allah is saying that only a few are on the right track. And who are those? They are the ones who perform two things. One, they believe and two, they act. Let's be very clear. Saying I believe alone or I believe in my heart and not following it up with the right action puts man into the category of the ayah before this. Indeed, mankind is surely in loss. So what are the acts that Allah identifies here? Do righteous deeds and tawasaw to give dawah, to enjoin, to urge, to encourage with both haq, truth, and sabr, patience. But can we really encourage others when we ourselves aren't doing those things? What would that be called? Do as I say and not as I do? That would be sad and wrong. Our surah hinges on the time and its continuous countdown on a man's life with what Allah says is success. We must, of course, have faith or belief, but we must also perform righteous deeds and practice and preach words of encouragement. This surah was recognized to be so important in the lives of the companions of the Prophet, the Sahabas, that whenever two men from the companions of the Messenger of Allah used to meet, they would not part until one of them had recited Surah al as the surah, in its entirety to the other, and one of them had the, given the greetings of peace to the other. Tomorrow, inshallah, as we continue Ramadan reminders, we shall go on to Surah al humaza chapter 104, the slander. And now we will end with the dua. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta sami'ul Our Lord, accept this service from us. Indeed, you are the hearer, the knower. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.